Hi, I'm Lou, another episode of My Car Story. We're here in Rockford, Illinois at the American Motors Corporation Nationals. And I'm with Joanne, nice to see you. Nice to see you. And Richard. Gregoire. And uh, Gregoire. And the Gregoires are all the way from where? Winnipeg, Manitoba. Canada. Win Canada. So with that being said, so what brings you all the way to Rockford? What kind of car, Richard, do you have? 1969 SC Rambler, normally called Scrambler. And it's a one year only car. And we've had it for a couple of years, and we decided to take it out, bring it to the AMO. And you've done a complete restoration, so this is all the way back to the way it used to look. That's right. Joanne, why this car? What made you convince them, uh, you know, this is the one versus some of the other ones? I just like the loud paint scheme on it, <laughs> and it's just a sharp looking car. It gets a lot of attention. It gets a, a lot of attention. Cool let's car. Let's take a look at it. Come on alongside me. You gotta love that. And uh, the Rambler body, let's take a look as we get a little closer, with the 390 cubic inch, same engine that they put in the Javelin AMX. So you did a complete restoration on this rotisserie, you were saying. That's right. I bought it as a driver, but uh, the engine compartment was kind of grungy, so I decided to clean that up, and uh, some of the work he'd done wasn't 100%, so we ended up putting it on the rotisserie and redoing it. And the hood, the hood pins and the hood scoop are I think they, part of the car. I think they call that a letterbox or something like that. Believe me, the viewers will tell me if I'm wrong. Come on back and let's take a look at the overall side. We'll see what Joanne likes about this loud paint color. And there is no mistaking that coming down the road. I mean, it actually looks like a drag car. It's just looking for the sponsor's name on it. I mean, it looks fantastic. And. Uh, you know, how American, right? It's American Motors with a red, white, and blue car. Just fantastic. I've been uh, looking for an SC Rambler or a Scrambler, and it was, uh, I noticed the Hurst in the badging. And with the Hurst, it obviously has a Hurst. Is it a four speed? Yes, they're all four speeds. They're all four speeds, okay. And they made 1,500 and 12 of them. 1,500, take a look at that mirror. That is awesome. And we'll take a look at the back with the striping. And they've gotten the darkened in tail pan, obviously. And I love how this logo here just pops off that black. Looks fantastic. Obviously dual exhaust because of the uh, 390. Let's take a look at the interior. And with that being said, we've got uh, American Motors as you move into the car and then as we hold the door open Tell me what uh, what rogue means it's based on the uh, the car that was called the Rambler American Okay, and the rogue model And there's your Hurst four-speed as you can see I like the uh, the handle grip shifter and take a look at the red white and blue headrest and there's some room in the back, as you could see. And it came with the tack on the uh, steering column. Tell, okay, t before I get there, tell me about that, that uh, roof liner. It's um, quite unique. Very unique. Okay, there's the tack, and you said that came standard with a... With kind of a hose clamp. <laughs> with a, the, uh, with a hose column. clamp. All right, the sun tack. So this is just, this is a time capsule. This is going right back to 1969. Let me focus on those. The only option you could get was the AM radio. The only other option. All right, let's take a look. Let's take a look under the hood. In 1969, James Garner, had 10 of these cars and he raced them in Baja and three of the first five were scramblers that came in first. Is and, that right? And the A, the AIR stands for American International Racing for James Garner's racing team. Is so that the, right? So when people look at that, they say AIR is kind of tacky, but that's not what it means. It doesn't mean that AIR is going into the hood scoop. And say that again, it's, it's American? And international Racing. American International Racing. With James Garner. Very cool. Look at all the details there. Some of these will be some of the first time you'll be able to read some of these with the high def camera. 
So, so this is there a, uh, um, uh, a switch or something? It looks like you've got some kind of a switch mechanism there. There's for the a flapper, and whenever you floor it, then it opens up. Okay. And lets more air in to give it the extra horsepower. Got it. Got there. it. Okay. And. This, you know, is also, this is also an early car because of the way the hole is made on this one. The other cars, the, the newer cars are different, and the hood scoop is also different on the the, early, or the later cars. So okay. this is one of the first ones produced. So the first ones have this circle, some of the other scramblers. Go ahead. Right. The, the hole is very small, and the plate is actually on top of the hood. Later on, they made the hole bigger, and the plate is goes from underneath which gives it actually a cleaner look okay but it was made this way so we put it back exactly and i love that about knowing the detail to your car and sharing the history of that well we've got the hood open let's start her up that'd be great Exhaust, Richard. It's hard not to smile with that. Oh, yeah, yeah that'll, that'll make you smile. <laughs> Alright, let's set her down. It was, just, it was just kicking down. Good. I don't know why they put a radio in it. <laughs> you, you, you just want to hear that. Yeah. Let's shut the hood. Excellent. Joanne, let's have you jump right next to your husband in front of the car. Thanks for bringing your car all the way from Canada down to Rockford and so much fun to uh, see you. SC Rambler or a Scrambler as I like to call them. So uh, thank you for being on my car story. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thanks.